What's up, yeah? Shout style or Joe the editor or something, whatever the fuck. Anyways, um, basically in this video, um, originally I was gonna like continue from my last video how I showed you how to like uh, I clean up the audio in this case when uh, Paul has a train in the background, right? So I was gonna like, show you the next step of how I add like uh, more of a compression and a treble and whatnot. But uh, before that, I, I feel like I'll take this opportunity to show you how I edit using my Rock and Nith mouse, right? Um, along with some shortcuts with my keyboard. Now, uh, I made videos on both, you know, subjects, you know, how I have my keyboard set up and how I have my mouse set up and all that. So I'll probably, like, have a link in the description so, or I guess I'll add a tag on the video so you can, like, check out that video. All right, so very quickly, I guess I want to show you how I have my uh, keyboard, my keys set up here. Now, as you can see, they're, like, a crazy combination. Control-Alt-U, Control-Shift-Alt-C and whatnot. Like, like I mentioned before, the reason why I have like a long combination of keys for a, one specific task is simply is to free up my keyboard, you know? Obviously, this is a combination of keys I'm not going to use when I'm editing because it's just too much to press at the same time. I just push this button and all of a sudden it presses all of these uh, keys at the same time, you know, and so on. Same thing with uh, my shift button from up here. You know, hold down this button and it has uh, it switches over to this side of commands and whatnot. If I wanted to, I just click here in the drop down menu. I go to uh, either I assign, I create a hotkey, or I can go to uh, my macros I have set up. And here's my list. And I just click on the one that I want. And it's, it's as easy as that. And it's auto apply. So once you make a change, it just it updates automatically. I wanted to like show you how I do a rough cut, right? And it's a combination between my mouse and my keyboard. Now for my mouse, usually what I do is when I'm editing, I do this by holding Alt and the mouse uh, wheel. You know, you can increase the you know, individual tracks. But in this case, what I like to do is I like to edit using the audio file. So I increase these very large. First, I got the zoom. As you can see, I got you know two buttons here. This is my zoom here. To save time, like uh, I increase the playback speed, and I have it set up to these two buttons right here. Lowest listed average power drive here, but bear in mind that is a six-core processor, and it is at least in the case of the 1800X and 2700X being compared to eight-core processors. So this one up here is pretty much my in and out points. You know, see, I can set an endpoint right here, move the you know the play here where I want it, hit out, boom, there you go. Then I could just you know do my shortcut to import the the footage. That's what these guys are. Uh, this one here is to cut, you know, cut at playhead. That's another tool you guys want to look into, cut at playhead. So I'm using my command to, like, move the timer to the cursor, and this is another button to, like, make a cut where the playhead is at. Boom, you know, there's a lot of time saver. Also over here, I have my undo button. This one right here, select, I got the delete right here, right? There are two types of cut at playheads that I have. One is it cuts directly through everything. You see that? It cuts through everything, right? And then there's one where it cuts to what's selected. So the one, the bottom button here, that's to collect the slice through everything. The top one here is pretty much to slice what's selected. See? So this saves time. There's another thing. See, like the fins, I have it set up so I can, like, uh, it selects everything that's forward, or I use the fin going the opposite way, and it selects everything that's back. Big time saver. So in this case, let me see. I want to select that. This guy down here is for my selection tool. You can click and drag. So say if I move my play at it here, and I wanted to move this guy over here, so just to save some time, instead of me like clicking and dragging. I can just select it. I push this guy right here, and it like it does the cut and paste, you know, automatically. You know, it saves a lot of time. I want to show you how I have the keyboard set up, right? So obviously, I'm just gonna show you what I use mainly for like the rough cutting this time. Uh, in the future, I'll see if I'll you know show you a bit more, but this will definitely probably help you guys out. So as you can see here, okay, I'm zooming in just to, so it can be more obvious what I'm doing. The A and the D, just like a video game, left and right, you know. And the W and S, I have it set up to jump between clips. So as you can see, I move going W, it goes up. It jumps at the end of the clip. S goes back down. So the reason why I have it set up like that is like, let me see. Let me get my blade tool. I'm going to make some cuts. So with the W, with the W button, it moves the playhead up to the next edit cut. S 
it goes down to the previous edit cut. All right. The shortcut to move like the playhead to the cursor is shift space. Cool shit, right? Q, I have it set up to ripple trim previous edit to playhead. E, ripple trim next edit to playhead. And I'll show you what that does. So make a note of that, the ripple trim. Definitely a good time saver. It's the same thing as ripple delete. If you know what ripple delete is, pretty much all that is is a say you hit and delete and it leaves that uh, gap. You hold down shift and delete and it moves like everything after that back. That way you're not left with an empty space. That's a ripple delete. I don't need all this other shit right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Q and that's going to move everything towards the right of the playhead back to this edit point right here. Boom. See that? That way it doesn't leave any empty spaces for you. Boom. Right? As you start to edit and you zoom in here, than the original Zen design. Uh, so he stops there. Zen Plus is more efficient than the... So bear that in mind when I'm comparing these temperatures. Zen Plus is more efficient. So I want to make an edit here. So what I do is, using my mouse, I make a cut. See, I slice through everything. Then I move over here to where he continues the sentence again. You know, again, using my WNSD, I find the point where I want to, uh, you know, cut at. Use a Q. Boom. Right? Comparing these temperatures. Zen plus is Zen plus See, and this is where like the you know zooming in comes in handy and using like the WNSD uh you know helps out. So I can zoom in here. Zen plus temperatures. Zen So you know, I want to make sure it sounds fluid, like you know, there's no pause whatsoever. So I can just use my commands here. Say me like trim this out, use the ET. This time I'm gonna use a ripple to next edit, and it's gonna like ripple from like this point to the next. And what that does, again, is going to bring everything that's after the playhead back. That way it doesn't leave any gaps. So hit an E. See that? Another thing I can do is I have a command where I just, uh, it just selects the, this point and it makes like, uh, it has the default transitions. Or another thing you can do is you can hold control, click and drag, and selects the edit points. And then in my case, uh, to select the transitions, I hit Control D, and it asks like the default transitions. Well, in this case, I have it set to as a cross itself and a constant power. Hit play. Zen Plus is more efficient than the original Zen temperatures. Zen Plus is more. See, so that sounds good. So yeah, that's pretty much, I guess it. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. So you know, zoom in, hit and out points, yada yada, slice, delete all the shit. But yeah, using the ripple trim tools is basically gonna be a massive time saver, right? And in my case, like I said, I just want to have it set up so like I don't have to move my hands that much around, you know. Doing this shit, what you're seeing right now, you know, it's gonna be a fucking time waster. You don't want that. You want to be like just chilling, having your hands ready to go. You know, I have my hands here, my left hand here on the keyboard. And my left, my right hand is on the the mouse, right? So I got all the tools just ready to go. So, so far I made all my rough cuts and whatnot. I'm gonna like go into the next video using the same clip of what I do after I make all my rough cuts. Then I adjust the audio to be at a um, audio level that I I prefer, right? So that'll be for like the, the next video. So, anyways, cool shit. So if you guys found this video helpful, uh, I definitely appreciate it. you guys uh, check out my Society Six page. You know, I got some of my artwork there. You know, uh. Either buy a print or buy something for the girlfriend or, or some shit. <laughs> or for yourself, you know, whatever. You know, it just so help me out. Or if you don't want to buy any stupid shit, then pretty much, you know, I got a PayPal me. It's uh, paypal.me slash Joseph Aguilar. That's my name. And here's my image. You know, your help is definitely is appreciated. So anyways, uh, that's all I got for you. And like, yeah, definitely uh, stick around. I'll be making more videos. Thanks again and take care. Peace.